Okay, hi everyone again. Um, this is Jordan von Verreist again, doing a Bonder Blitz today as well. It's going to be two hours and um, hopefully we're going to flag some people and um, hopefully also play some better chess than yesterday. Try to try to um, have it a bit more instructive and um, educational, but um, no promises. Like always, I am accepting um, challenges with any time control, three minutes, um, five minutes or increment challenges. It's all fine with me. So um, let's see what we got here. Let's um, start with Mr. Magnus, the best, one, two, three. I see he's offline, so I'm not sure if he's going to make a move, but um, we're going to give it a shot anyway. Mr. Magnus, the best. Well, maybe Magnus the best has other things to do because I really see he's not online. So um, busy guy here. Let's immediately abort him. Let's not waste his time anymore. And let's accept someone who is online here. Let's start with uh, Mr. Oops Kitty. Let's play a 1d4 here. Mr. Oops Kitty from India. And uh, I think today will be a nice... Uh, the goal to get to 3,000, it's only five points away, but uh, we shouldn't uh, aim too high, of course. Okay, let's play the oh-so-boring London system. I'm expecting a lot of uh, hate by the viewers, but uh, in uh, I, I, I kind of like the London system, so um, had some good results with it. What's up, guys? I'm reading the chat also, of course, so... Um, if you have any things to say in the chat, uh, let me know. And uh, reading both YouTube and Chess24 chat, at least trying my best to um, read it. Yeah, I'm doing good, guys. I'm doing good. Um, also, happy Easter to you, wherever you are in the in the world. Okay, so knight c6. Well, let's just play c3, keep it uh, normal. This is the point of the London system. You get this kind of triangle here, and um, oops, and um, you're very solid. And then slowly you uh, hope to attack, and it can be a little bit more dangerous for Black um, than it seems at first. White has some attacking ideas in the long run, and um, I once played a very nice game here against Rasmus Swan in the Bundesliga. He played b6 here, which is the main line, but there are other moves for Black. As well, of course, in general, uh, white position has a very sound foundation here. You're a big fan from India. Well, good to hear that. Uh, I said yesterday, but I like Indian people very much. So uh, definitely. Wait, so, Oops Kitty, is Oops Kitty in the chat as well or not? Is that why he's playing a bit slow? Actually, he's not playing that slow. He's up on time. <laughs> okay, rookie eight is normal. He wants to play for E5, so I'm... I'm stopping um, e5 here and uh, putting by putting my knight on uh, putting my knight on e5. And um, well, maybe later on I I want to play f4, solidify the knight on e5. And uh, this knight can be quite hard to dislodge, so it can be quite the uh, the attacking piece. Yeah, I think f4 is the move here. Let's go. It's looking quite nice, right? You played my brother once, okay. Yeah, he's a good player too, my brother. Oops, Kitty is a regular player, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm playing an experienced player here. He's probably, uh, he knows what he's doing. He's familiar with the website and uh, everything. So I have to be careful. Maybe he can even uh, play fast in the time scramble, but... Uh, before we get to time scrambles, of course, I want to try and win on the board. So bishop e7, huh? Takes on f6, takes and it, no tricks just yet. I can just castle, I guess. Why not? Don't think too long. And um, some ideas like rook to f3 or knight to f3, even queen f3, it's all in the air. Do you know Filipino chess players? Oh, that's a good one. Well, 
of course, Wesley So is um, originally from the Philippines. Um, other than that, I do not really know, in fact. Do you have any grandmasters over there in the Philippines? Let me know. I, I'm sure you do. I'm just, uh, I cannot come up with them right now. Okay, knight. Let's just play queen f3. This is really basic stuff. It's uh, what you get uh, thought when you start playing the London system. Bring the queen to f3, then over to h3, and the, the attack will uh, play by itself. <laughs> you really like the real chess? <laughs> Good. Nice. Yeah, that's... Um, that's a thing my mother developed, in fact. So uh, it's a, it's a thing um, my family and me as well, we used to uh, improve our tactics back in the day. So g6, let's see. Should I play knight f3? Mm. Okay, why not? Ah, Torres from uh, Philippines. Okay. How to join? Um, well, you can challenge me. Um, if you see um, on the Chess24 website from the live broadcast, you see a banner to my name. If you click on it, you go to my profile and you can challenge me right there. So uh, that's how to challenge me. Yeah, and Torres, is, of course, a legend from the Philippines. I uh, shouldn't have forgotten about him. A bit of a blunder there. He um, is he still an active chess player? I think he maybe is. I I remember um, played very well at some Olympiads a couple of years ago. So he uh, he's uh, he can play extraordinary chess still. Okay, now we start getting some tactical stuff. So I'll take on e7 first. Um, he cannot take with the queen naturally because the knight is hanging. So. He has to take either with the knight or the rook. And if he takes with the knight, I was hoping for knight takes f7 to work. <clears throat> and rook, yeah, rook takes, excuse me, guys. Rook takes e7 is the best move here, for sure. And um, he has this idea of playing f6. Okay, knight g5. Okay, I'm going to go uh, ahead and play knight g5, which, as I realize immediately now, is just a terrible move because he can just take it. But um, I guess you guys did not expect much more of me, right? Uh, I mean, better chess. Because knight g5, he just takes fg and knight takes e5, and somehow I forgot he could do this, and I'm losing a pawn. But on the bright side, we're up 30 seconds, so... As you guys know, if you watched yesterday, um, plan A is always playing for the flag. So I think we're doing good here. Oh, he doesn't see it. That's um, that's fortunate. Luck has um, luck is on my side today. I, I think I'll take the night. The uh, the menacing knight on e4 is um, was annoying me a little bit there. In fact, it's not easy to to break through here. I could take on c6. Yeah, let's let's be real, right? We don't want to win on position. We're just gonna <laughs> play on the flag. You guys know me. So queen h6, pretending to threaten something, but of course not really threatening something. I have to say we're off to a bit of a slow start here. First game, less than impressive so far and definitely not educational on how to play the London system. Bishop a6 is possible here. And um, okay, rook b2, that's um, interesting as well. I'm going to occupy the open file here. Probably should have taken the other rook, but okay. Who cares about such details when uh, all you care when all that matters is the flag? Bishop a6. Well, he finds it. Shoot, that was not on. Uh, that was not my plan. 
for him to spot that move. But okay, I'll, I'll exchange rooks. And wow, bishop d3. This guy is um, he is quite the player. Okay, let's play for gallery play. Maybe I can get, bring the king to h6. It's terrible, guys. Don't do this at home. But um, <laughs> shit. it's not working at all, as you can see. Such um, dumb, such stupid ideas by me. Please take on h2. Yeah. Let's see where this is leading to. Oh, no. Come on. Bishop e2. It's giving me maiden 2. Can I go king g5, though? No, I cannot. Okay, this is very sad, but okay. The masterpiece has been ruined by my opponent. What a shame. Okay, it was never a masterpiece to begin with, of course. Do you drink a lot in Holland? Um, definitely not as much as... Uh, I mean, personally, not um, too much, but um, I used to drink a bit more before, but then I noticed that when I'm drinking, I play terrible chess, so... Um, I stopped uh, doing that. Okay, let's play person from Russia. I think um, in Russia, the the drinking is... Uh, oh, people drink more there than, uh, than me, at least. <laughs> but let's see how their chess is. Is their chess also better than my chess? Knight f3, clearly taking my opponent by surprise. Doesn't seem to be making a move and probably, <coughs> oops, <coughs> has took in flight or something because no move is coming true. <coughs> Suddenly got a bit of a cough here because I was drinking some water, so it happens. Oh, <coughs> shit. That water really got me there. <laughs> Oh, it's my turn. Oops. Okay, let's see here. A Dutch defense. That's what I like. Let's play the e4. Not sure what this is called. In fact, I should know. But uh, chat, please let me know. What is e4 called here? What is the gambit name? I really should know. Staunton gambit. Is it not? Is it Staunton gambit? Please let it be Staunton gambit. Actually, I'm going to look it up. Staunton gambit. Is it Staunton gambit? Yeah, it is, right? No. Yes, it is. Okay, I, I was right there. Where did the blush go? Yeah, I I, I, I took off the makeup, guys. <laughs> no, I don't know where it went. Maybe it's the lighting or something. Do I like Sveshnikov Sicilian? Um, for sure. Why not? Wait, what is it? I have to go bishop g5 here, shouldn't I? I went f3 for some reason, which is like um, a bad move. But okay, we'll make it work somehow. Let's go bishop g5 and... Um, okay, queen e2 maybe, yeah, pretending to want long castles and not care about d4 pawn. Okay, let's castle to the queen side. Bishop g4 has been blundered. A bit weird because I saw it on the previous move, but... Um, <laughs> then I missed it. Okay, let's go d5, attack. Attack the knight, see where it goes. Drive the pony away. Oh, yeah, bishop g4, that's a little bit too late. Miss. Bishop g4 could have been played. Maybe you're stream sniping, but uh, bishop g4 was only good a few minutes, a few moves ago. Now I'm definitely much better. Just going to take it easier. I'm going to exchange the queens. How am I? I am doing great. Do I agree that computer is far better than human? <laughs> I think I shouldn't even answer that. That speaks for itself. Yeah, no need to answer that. We all know men are better than computer what 
stupid question. Morphe, who I recently played against Dingley. I hope I can play against you now. Well, we'll see about that. I, uh, you are, um, there are many people who want to play, but I'll, I'll try to uh, play everyone as I can, of course. Yes, I did beat Stockfish in a match. Um, so, like I said, there's no there's no match for computers against the man. In fact, men stopped playing computer because they were not really um, there was no match there. So, okay. Anyway, back to um, sensible talk here. We got an interesting position here, but my opponent's um, pawns are not in excellent shape. I can take on g7, but I don't really want to. In fact, it's not such a uh, clear-cut position. I can go knight g3, maybe. It's quite concrete. Okay, let's play knight g3. The point of e3, I want to hop to e4 and maybe generate some threats against the opponent's king. Take on g7 at a convenient moment, if I can. So e3, knight e4, bishop d4 looks critical. Um, hoping she will not see. Yeah, I was hoping for that blunder. I take on g7 now, and now I have the dual threat of attacking h8 and bishop f6 as well. Do I usually train the end game? Um, yeah, sometimes I think it's good to train your end game, especially, um, actually, not nothing in specific, just Practical or theoretical end games. I think it's um, really important at first to have your theoretical end games down because these happen uh, quite often, and it's really embarrassing when you mess up an easy an easy draw or an easy win. So uh, definitely um, do that. I did it a lot, especially when I was a bit younger. Yeah. So rook takes g3 is um, very clever, but I I see that I can take it, so I will take that rook. And um, that was a nice game, I think. Quite interesting. Okay, let's play a stronger player from Germany. My German friends are in the house. How do I prevent myself from blundering? Oh, I think you picked the wrong guy to ask that question. I am uh, I am really pretty... Uh, I'm prone to blundering a lot, so yeah. <laughs> Who will you play next event of CCT? Um, not that I know of, at least, but we'll see. Do I know Turkish? <laughs> do I know Turkish Gambit? No, I do not. Tell me, what is it? Is it a chess Gambit? What is the opening? Ooh, and we got a Knight of here, guys. Let's hit him with B4. I'm sure this is taking the guy off guard. It's um, something which um, I came up once um, once with some friend of mine while walking to the tournament hall. We were thinking which good move hasn't been played against an either of yet. And um, there's definitely something to this B4 move. So the point is now we just develop pieces normally. Bishop D3, I guess. I have to say, there's a bit of a lack of practice in this uh, line. I think it's not been taken too serious yet. So um, please... Please, guys, if you play 1e4 with white and you do face an either and you play b4 against an either as well, send me your games because I need some more um, information on this line. Okay, knight c6, I'll take, and castle. And now the point is we basically got the space advantage going here on the queen side. So that's um, something which is not too bad. Okay, a5, definitely interesting. How to respond? Do we play knight a4 or is the knight on the rim dim? We're playing a three minute game, so I have to uh, be careful. Okay, let's play knight a4. I wasn't sure what to do, so when in doubt, make a move. Okay, let's go here. Maybe e5 is something I want to play right now. b4 kills Najdorf. 
Yes, completely agree. Why B4? Because it's a good move. And no, okay, let's be honest. It's not a great move, but um, it's not losing or anything. Who do I think is the best knight or player? MVL or Anish? Um, I don't know. I, I think MVL has had pretty bad results with the knight or Anish playing it quite well, I think. But hard to say. They're both um, experts on the opening, of course. Anyway, C4 here. So this is um, how you're supposed to play the line. Advance on the queen side and and um, put a lot of pressure there. Maybe C5. Guys, what do you think? C5? You like it? I like it. Oh, the sun is coming. Wait, let me close the curtain a bit. The sun is hitting my eye. Okay, let's see. Maybe that's better. One second, guys. Doing some uh, curtain operation here. Okay. I think that's much better. Lost some valuable time, of course, on the clock. Hmm. Okay. DC and knight c5 is tempting. But a, b, a, b, take, take. Yeah, it's not really. Okay, I'm going to go to c4. Just to focus a bit here, guys. Playing strong, driven player and... Uh, Oh, this is not a good move though. So I take back what I said. We are not having, we're not going to focus here because we have knight b6 incoming and uh, we can um, look at the future with um, look with it uh, with happiness or something or uh, confidence. Okay, let's b5, open it up here. And now you see really like on the b file we're crushing him. It's, um, it's how... Uh, and it was all due to this b4 move in the opening, I think. Okay, let's give a check. Go rook c7. If queen b6, we've got rook c8. And this is really passive. In fact, let me just double on the seventh here. And lots of uh, threats coming his way. I'm just going to play b7 here. That looks solid enough. Okay, he's trying to speed up. But um, when you want to speed up, but your position is bad, it, um, it's too bad here for my opponent, so he's no chance. Okay, let's take it. Okay, I don't think this is the best technique, but I'm threatening mate in one, which probably he doesn't see exactly. Okay, though, guys, that I think was a nice game. Turkish Gambit is e4, e5, three d5. Is that Turkish Gambit? Really? I don't believe you at all. Let's see. Who is right here? Oh, what? Okay, guys, sorry for the interruption here. I thought it was known under a different name. Yeah, no, you're right. I was wrong. Holy smokes. Okay. Learn something new every day. Turkish Gambit. Okay, yeah, if we get a chance, we can, uh, we can play that, um, the Turkish Gambit. I think I was confusing it with the um, elephant gambit, which is e4, e5, knight of three, f5. Ponziani. Okay, if I get a chance, I'll play Ponziani. So remind me, please. Yes, definitely do analyze your games. <sighs> was my favorite gambit. I like all gambits. I'm a big fan of, I'm a big gambit aficionado. Okay, so you have Marco Caldera here, but um, he's probably um, busy celebrating Eastern, so he doesn't seem to be there, unfortunately. Okay, let's see. Do we do another strong one, guys? <laughs> okay, let's play someone from the Netherlands, in fact. Loper Parch. Okay, let's see. So this is from the Netherlands and uh, we have black, so we have a wide range of gambits at our disposal. So, okay, let's see if we get the Turkish gambit. Oh, come on, what is... So what's the plan now? 
Okay, let's play knight f6 and then go d5 next move. Maybe, uh, mm. okay, let's play bishop c5. In fact, I didn't expect g3 to come. And I'm just gonna play on the h file here. Yeah, Jobaf and Report are very cool players, definitely. Although, I mean, no real although, but um, I find it a bit of a pity that um, Report, I, I really don't see much in, in any events, and I'm really big fan of his playing style, so it's a pity we don't see him too often in action. I don't know why, but um, H5 is, by the way, such a bad move here. I, I, I'm, I'm going to pretend it was a mouse slip. <laughs> It definitely was some kind of a brain slip there. What do you have with Volga on E3? Yeah, that, that kind of sucks for Black, I think. I once wanted to play against uh, the Volga or the Gambit. Benko Gambit are uh, the same thing. So I once wanted to play E3 against the Benko Gambit, but I played it on the wrong move, and then it looked like I was utterly stupid, and um, my teammates uh, at the time were laughing about it. But if you played at the right move, this move e3, it's um it's good. Anyway, let's uh see what to do here. I really dislike how I've approached it, but okay, let's um pretend like it's all going to plan. Play for a3, maybe. I wanna what do I how do I continue though? What is the Dam Damiano defense? Okay, bishop e3 feels a bit soft. Don't exactly see what he was, um, what he's trying to prevent or do, or maybe he's playing for d4 or something. I don't really know. Either way, I think bishop was quite quite fine on g5 there. <laughs> e4, e5, knight f3, bishop a3. Okay. <laughs> Actually... What? <laughs> How do people come up with such incredibly, incredibly brilliant gambits? I mean, <laughs> Neptune, where does the name come from? Holy smokes. Okay, should not be blundering the bishop here. Neptune gambit. That was a good one, chat. Mm -hmm. F5 is kind of annoying. And how is it possible I cannot prevent it in a satisfactory way? Do we really have to play queen to d8? That's very sad. Yes, please do refrain from asking questions twice. I see already a couple of times some uh, questions being asked twice. And um, I do see your questions, guys. So don't worry. Um, Oh, e4, e5, three, d5 is the elephant gambit. Oh, so it does have two names, this this gambit, or what is, um, what's up? And knight c4 here, meanwhile, in this game, it's um, netting some material, I think. I could have taken on d4 and an f1. Maybe it was a bit cleaner, but I think I'm I'm doing fine here too. Um, queen g5, knight takes b2, he has no um, real follow-up there. And if he goes to C1, I'm just going to be up to full exchange. So looking good here for me. All of Halloween, yeah, it's, it's not so bad, I think. It's really not so bad. I, I never got the chance or I never really played it. But um, if we get a chance here, guys, um, I'll, I'll give you guys some good gambits. I'm not sure about the Neptune gambit. It seems a bit overzealous, but um, we'll see. Nah, Bone Cloud is, um, is way too much hype. I'm not a big fan, in fact. I mean, I already said yesterday, if you play Bone Cloud, you're guaranteed to win. And what's the point of that? We want to have some interesting games. Okay, let's play H4. We're up in exchange here. And um, my opponent still has his Loper Parche. For those who don't know, it's uh, Loper is a Loper. This is a Loper in Dutch. And this is a, a Knight is a Part in Dutch. Um, but other than that, he doesn't have um, a whole lot going for him. So, okay, do we play? What do we play? Mm, anything is um, easily winning here. I'm just going to go for style points. Knight d5. 
he doesn't even take the night. But either case, he's um, fighting a lost cause here. And that is the checkmate. And we take it. Okay, good game there, I think. Neptune Gambit is very sound. Really, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, let's play. Let's play. Let's see. Marvelous Mongol. I like that username. What does it mean, guys? What is it? Oh, Marvelous Moggy. Okay. With a picture of a cat. Okay. C4. Okay, I'm going to go D5 here. I tried to convince some friends of mine that this was um, not all that bad for black. Um, it's basically a reverse Alapin. And as you guys all know, Alapin is not that bad for, it's quite good for white. Um, and the reverse version must be um, even better, right? That That's, um, well, that was my take on it. But I've never actually put it to the test. So let's see. Um, what is the, uh, what's gonna happen here? Really giving away some kind of opening secrets to you guys here, reverse all up in. Do you know Gambit Sandomirski? No, I do not. How do you guys know so many Gambits? This is <laughs> quite crazy, in fact. So many Gambits I've never heard of before. Hmm. Neptune Gambit does is really gonna stick with me though. Share a funny incident with Anish Giri. Well, Anish is only funny on social media, so really no funny moments with him. I'm kidding, of course. We have uh, good moments. Okay, let's see. Do we play? Okay, I can take on D3, Knight D3, Bishop F5. Okay, I'm gonna go Bishop F5 immediately. I wanna, I wanna, I want him or her to play d4 and then i want to drop back and even though i'm down the pawn here i kind of uh think it's um practically speaking it's quite playable the coca-cola can it's come on <laughs> the Coca -Cola. can you guys also please tell me where the names from of the gamuts are coming from because some of the names i mean somebody stole a bottle of cocoa playing that gambit or what G4, G5, F4. Okay. I have to say, I'm not really impressed by that one. Okay, H5, typical. Maybe he takes the pawn, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> what did you think about chess new rule? Which new chess rule? I don't know about any... Um... I'd love to see birds opening. Okay, yeah, we can get it going. Birds opening, you got it. You got it. Sir, which do you like more, Grunfeld or Nimzo Indian? Oh, these are two completely different openings, sir. I, um, well, they're both very rich in, uh, in, uh, in, um, you know, chess, uh, possibilities simply. Okay, F4 by my opponent. Let's take slightly weakening him here, but, um, have to prove it, of course, that we can uh, put it to use. Let's hop in with the knight, first of all. And really, we see the reverse lap in having, um, having a good time here, basically. So, like I said, the reverse lap in, go check it out, guys. It starts with the moves 1, c4 by white, and black plays d5. And after white captures on d5, you play c6. Neck Manson, I know. I think the problem with the neck Manson is everyone knows. Yes. I am not single. How is this silly Jala Lola bot variation? I've heard of that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Neither do I know the move. So I'm happy to play all your gambits, guys. But um, please tell me also the moves then. Because as I told before, I'm not uh, too rich in uh, knowledge on all these gambits. So I do not know the moves. And um, that's a whole new world for me, basically. So... Please tell me the moves. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take on C2 here. It's a bit pragmatic. 
or I don't know the right word. It's not really in the spirit of the position, but I think it wins material. So there's um, a good case to be made for this move. Point is now that he lost protection of pawn on e3 and we take it and we have the double attack going for the queen and the rook. And he cannot pin my queen because my queen is pinned. So he has to take on e3, yeah. And we take, okay, I thought king h1 was not the best move. So, um, yeah, so bishop e4 guys definitely don't play such moves. Always ask yourself, what is the opponent threatening here? It was clearly mate in one. And, ooh, we are already above a rating of 3,000, so life is going well. Okay, so let's play a gambit this game, if we get a chance. Against Mr. Ajedrez Concardon, said in my best. Okay, how do you play gambits? Oh, somebody wants the bird, right? Okay, let's play the bird. Do you know poor gambit? It's a4, e5. H, that doesn't even make sense, dude. At least tell me moves which are legal. It's also, uh, if you tell Gambit and the moves, make sure the, the, the moves are legal chess moves. The Storm Gambit, F4, D5. Oh, okay, maybe we get a chance for the Storm Gambit. Oh, but Ajedrez Concaradon is um, it's not here. Buddy. I can understand because in Argentina, it's either, um, it's probably very, um, it's deep into the night, isn't it? So we abort that game and we play somebody else. Okay, let's play. Uh, oh, wait, that's not a premium member. Yeah, also, guys, be sure only to challenge when you are a premium member. I only accept premium member challenges. So, um, ooh, we're playing somewhere from Nepal. That's nice. I'd love to go to Nepal one day. So um, I hope he's here. Um, let's see if he's here. Oh, yes, he's here. That was a moment of... Oh, and we're playing the Storm Gambit, but it's the Storm Gambit declined. So that's a bit of a pity. We'll try to make it work, though. What's up, Indonesia? How are you doing? In Indonesia, guys, all of you who are living there. Blackburn Shilling, I've heard of the Blackburn Shilling. It's um, one of the few names I've heard um, in all these suggestions. Let's see. Oh, thanks for the game, Marvelous Morgi. That, that was a nice game. Hope you enjoyed Okay, d4. Okay, knight b5. Why not? Knight b5 looks so bad. <laughs> I miss bishop b4 check. Okay, let's exchange queens in order not to um, get made it immediately. I think my opponent played it a bit too soft here. But okay. Now we got a more or less equal end game. Maybe knight d4 isn't okay. I'm getting away with all kind of um, blunders here. I thought 94 was quite strong by my opponent. Well, now, so B6 is really not good, I think. It's really, um, although, yeah, I was about to make some kind of um, strong statement, but in fact, <laughs> now I'm wondering if I'm even better. So, what do I know? What do I know? Yeah, probably have to play bishop d4 here with um, great sadness. Have to part with my bishop pair. Okay, let's take. Now it should be very equal-ish. But I hope to use my bishop. Um, okay, knight g4. Okay, let's think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Let us think about this. So h2 is threatened. After long consideration, I've decided to protect it. Or remove it from its threat. I thought knight um, e3 was um, 
the plan of Mr. Sasuki, but um, it didn't happen. And now I think I should be a little bit better. How to expand? Maybe before. Even here, I'm not okay. Rook d6 is a bit weird. Ooh, and now it's never good to trap your own rook, I think. Oh, wait, maybe it's not yet losing. Hmm. Okay, let's go to d2. Takes. Okay, I thought I'm winning the rook, but um, I missed a couple of things, which happens. Let's go to B1. I, I see I'm very low on the clock here. My opponent is clearly trying to um, use my own ways against me. So he's trying to flag me here. So uh, we have to stay focused and uh, play uh, quick, quick and play for tricks mainly. So Rook on C6, still a bit of a set piece. And there it goes. There the Rook goes back into the box. And I do not even take the Rook. I take the Knight instead. And now it should be a clean piece up for me, which is good. It gets to pawns, but um, I think it's not going to be enough for uh, for chance here, really, unless I uh, botch this up. Especially uh, now the Black King is simply in um, a lot of trouble. So he has to play rook d4 to prevent or this. And now rook d4. But it's not gonna... Oh, yeah, rook e4, very clever. But okay. He sh I don't know if that was a mouse slip or he didn't see rook d4. Would you rather win against Magnus or play against Fischer? Hmm. Hmm, that's a good one. Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna beat Magnus at some point anyway, right? So, and when am I ever gonna play Fischer? So I think I would play uh, Fischer. Um, highly dubious take there by me, but um, okay, let's play a strong player here. Oh shoot! Okay, let's do this. Let's let's do this, guys. Let's hit him hard and gain some rating. Okay, let's play quickly. Keep the focus on. Let's play the wing gambit. Wing gambit declined. What is this? I'm out of book. <laughs> I'm out of book after e5. I do not know much theory about this line. But let's claim that, um, let's pretend that we know at least. Let's play h3, at least stopping bishop g4. And in fact, we got a typical position here. Only difference that my pawn is um, on b5, which mm, not very happy about it, but it could be worse. Okay, let's play. Hmm. Okay, let's play bishop g5. Let's keep it. Um, or did I blunder? Knight takes e4. Well, not really. I think. What is the tour again with again, guys? Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, 3,000 live goal, live goal mate. Um, wanted to do a speed run to 3,000 chess 24 rating here. And um, looks like I managed. It's um, been a long time in the making, but to really make it happen now is, uh, is good. Good game. Yeah, thanks. Okay, h6 is played. Let's take. And now the point is that um, we got access to this d5 square. And we can um, drive away his knight when feeling so, when, when, when wanting to do it. And preparing to play c3 now, I don't think bishop takes um, h3 is really something to be too worried about. Can even play c3 there, but... I can even just take on uh, h3 and win the piece. Yeah, so he has to do this, but now this is quite ugly for him. I, I'm definitely uh, better now, I think. Okay, let's play g3. I want to stop knight to f4. And um, I have the light square control here. That is, oh, that's, um, I think, a very favorable trait for me. Because I get knight c4 and... It's uh, it's looking really good. 
knight e3 or okay let's just play queen f3 here okay so he wants knight d4 i'll happily stop him in his tracks just have to be a bit careful about my king here so knight g5 is for example um yeah maybe i didn't play it in the best way truly i did not Sometimes you just have to go passive. It's um, sometimes um, you have to um, admit that you did something which was not very good. Okay, let's play knight d2. This is looking <laughs> like some very sad moves suddenly coming in. Queen e2 is a problem, which I missed. But okay. He doesn't do it, and knight h3 do not fully understand it. I just want to go back. Still do not have f3. Let's play rook a to e1. Have to stay focused here, guys. Playing a decent player here for sure. Have you also over 10,000 games memorized? I don't even think I've seen 10,000 games. Way too much. Okay, let's play King G2. He wants to play F5, but now F5 is running into F3. And if I manage to drive him back, I, I, I'm i still doing fantastic. Um, wait, what? Wants to sack on F3 or something? Or did he just plunder it? He's gonna say if I manage to drive his pieces back, I um, positionally speaking, I'm still in good shape. Yeah, so am I not just winning um, uh, material here, or what is um, what's the deal? He's gonna flag me, isn't he? He's not gonna be faster than me. Let's be real. He's not gonna be faster than me. And I'm, I am the one who flags. I am the one who flags, not you, sir. Further resistance is futile. It is time to throw in the towel. Let's see, I'll give this little prim. Yeah. Okay, that was a nice game. I think it was, uh, it got a bit dicey there in the middle game, but... Uh, Eventually, he couldn't um, make it work for him, and we got him, so that, that was nice. Let's see, what have we got for questions? Very sad queen, Jordan, yes. I like to put my queen in the corner. Sometimes it can be doing a nice job from the corner because it's a long-range piece. And I master checkers. No, I have not. Favorite chess commentator. I always... Um, I remember like when I was back in school, I always liked... Um, like I would be in school till four or something. And then I would come home and I would switch on the Jan and um, the Jan. I wanted to say the Jan and Gustafsson show, but that makes no sense. The Jan and uh, Lawrence Trent show. I thought they were really a good mix together. So, but these days are over. They are, um, I'm, I'm, I'm out of school and they are doing other things. But uh, yeah, I really like those, um, those two commentating together and um, otherwise I like it when a really strong player commentates so um, like Carlson or Kasparov or something yes if you're 30 and you have 2100 you're really doing uh, fantastic so definitely you can um, you can become a, you even have potential to become a grandmaster and um but uh, definitely, uh, you have uh, potential to become a title player. I think if you're 13 and that rating, you're gonna you're gonna go far. I do not give trainings. I am uh, my chess understanding is too little, and my um, my other I have too many other things to do. I try to work on my own chess understanding. Yeah, I, I always liked uh, watching them. Um, pity that they. Um, that it stopped or maybe they will return at some point who knows 
Okay, so we're playing some kind of weird Dutch there. Defense here. I tried to lure him into the Karokan at first. He declined, sadly. And now we're playing some kind of Dutch defense here. I tried to win a piece here, but it was spotted by my opponents. Always, um, always a bad feeling when your opponent sees your tricks. Okay, so we need to... How do you play here? I guess I'm slightly worse. I don't know how to um, play here with like I don't really see c5. No, maybe a6. Let's play a6. A favorite web series? I thought I said already yesterday, but um, Dexter, Game of Thrones, Prison Break, Breaking Bad. All good stuff. I'm sure I'm forgetting some, which is a bit annoying, but um, yeah, some good. I watched. Uh, no, I do not watch Japanese uh, anime. I don't even know how to pronounce an anime. So there you go. I think by my pronunciation, you can tell me that you can tell that I'm not an expert. Okay, let's go B4, D, C, I want B, C, and after the exchange operation, wait, takes, 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 yeah, I promote with check. Wait, Dexter is, season nine is coming? What? I didn't really like the ending of uh, Dexter, so, <laughs> really? They're making a whole new season? Wow. Uh, okay, let's. Let's play bishop b7 here. Very funny position here. In fact, we got all the pieces on the board, so it's quite a sharp position. And bishop on h2 is not so great. But, uh, of course, um, everything is still up in the air here. Not sure why he's giving me that pawn all the time. I refuse to take it twice, but I won't refuse thrice. Shaman King, I've never, I've watched Lupin, yeah, that was nice, waiting for, um, to, um, waiting for a new season there, that was quite fun. Yes, I am trying to read all chats, um, so it's not so easy. But I'm, I'm trying my best to read the chats, guys. So um, definitely um, be active there. And I will um, I will be uh, in touch with chat, of course. Charlie Puth or Sean Mendes? <laughs> no real preference there. Hello, Jordan. I started four months ago and I'm 1800. Is that good? Yes, you're doing fantastic. Go on. Keep it up. So queen takes d5 here would be a nice... Positional sacrifice if it, um, but the problem is it loses a queen. But um, there was something to be said for it. Now I have really a nice position going for me, but still have to finish it off. I'm gonna go g5, attack, go, go, go. <laughs> okay, that did not sound very dangerous, but his position is dangerous. g4 is coming. And um, pawn up, king f1, <laughs> some kind of prophylaxis or freeing up the square for um, the 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 knight. But knight e4 now is hitting um, queen and pawn. We'll go not even take it because I like um, torturing. Very sadistic guy I am. Queen takes h2 is good, but I like this. Oh, shoot, my queen. <laughs> Oh, it's checkmate. What luck by me. <laughs> I was just playing for this trick. The point is he cannot even go to g2 because bishop is on b7. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's play Michael on Bueno from Australia. Let's go. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I'm only going to be quick when I'm below 20 seconds. I think above that, um, what matters is still um, 
chess um, moves. Below 20 seconds, you really have to speed up, I guess. The Aaron grows. <laughs> Who's the best chess player ever? Um, not up to me to decide, but uh, you can Google your question for sure. Is Leko a good commentator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like uh, listening to Leko's commentary. Okay, let's play D. Mm. Okay, let's play Ratty again. Yeah, but Leko is really fantastic commentator. Let's. Um, I really uh, doing also fantastic with Tanya. I think they're a great duo. So sure, sure, like listening to their to their insights and. Um, I mean, Leiko has such fantastic knowledge of chess. Um, definitely recommend if you if you uh, looking for some chess understanding, um, go listen to his commentary. What music you like? Yeah, any kind of music. Um, Dutch music, English music, and then English music, anything basically. Um, so it's I'm very I'm not picky when it comes to music. Okay, let's go back. I misplayed this opening. Sorry, guys, a bit. Mm, Jordan, do you really like Luke? Of course not. Luke van Weyli? No. Luke and me, we're enemies. Mm -hmm. Luke is, um, Luke and me, we are big enemies. He's always, he, he, he is funny because he has um, a really big mouse and um, he can really uh, trash talk nicely, but um, then when you see his chest, um, you uh, know that uh, something is off. Just, I think when you have one have a big mouth, you should also be able to back it up. What would I be if I were not a professional chess player? Yeah, I really don't know. I've got that question many times. Um, I would think so. I would study something definitely. And um, something like um, in the financial things, maybe, but I would um, artificial intelligence, something like that sounds nice. Wait. Let me see what's up in the chest 24 chat as well. Nice, mate. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, 2200 is definitely very high. If you make it that far, it's nice. Okay, queen e7. So you cannot take the knight because it's pinned and I'm just developing here. I, I should be a little, little bit better. I went to school, simply. What app do I use? Oh, any, there are many good chess apps. I will recommend you the Chess24 app. They have a good app. Am I helping Anish for candidates? Yes, I think it's no secret anymore. I tried getting him to play the reverse all up in, but I am not sure um, he really bought it. But maybe he will finally see the light and play it there. Bobby or Fischer? That's a very good one. I'm going to go with Bobby. Yeah, so rook takes d5 here, going back to chess talk. Um, yeah, he takes on d5 back um, with the rook, but either way, if he took on g4, the bishop on b5 was hanging. And now it's um, really a world of pain for my opponents, all kind of discoveries coming, and uh, this is not the position. Usually white has a bishop on b2 in this position, and it's still unclear, so goes to show kind of um, position blacks in. Now I'm just up a piece and um, happily enjoying here. Okay. Takes. Yep, takes. Probably could have done it in better ways, but um, this will get the job done. Yeah. And he resigns. Okay, that was a nice game, I think. Thanks to Michael on Bueno. That was a good one. And let's play um, Dajit from Johal. Nice to see all the Indian players here in, in the house. So good luck to you, mister. 
favorite book on tactics no real preference um in the in Netherlands we have the step method which is what all the chess kids are um being taught when they learn chess oh someone of Ponziani so let's do that the step method basically teaches you all about um tactics and uh, beyond as well so that's how we grew up in the Netherlands and um I think by now it's even gone international so that's basically what the kids do here Proof or overrain? Um, no preference. I don't know them both, so hard to uh, give my take on that. Play game, please. Yes, I am playing games. Yes, no. Keep your. Please do submit your question also in the just in before chat, but. Um, what the, what is your question on the on the Netherlands? Please let me know. Okay, takes on d4. Um, okay, so the queen on e7 is not optimally placed, but um, there's not losing or anything like that. Bishop g5 is um, okay. D5, interesting move. Good one, but the queen on e7, like I said, it's not um, it's not where it wants to be. It, it's um, obstructing, yeah. And now my opponent um, correctly um, admits to his error, and in fact, he's not in uh, bad shape here at all. I want to hit him with something, but maybe I just cannot. So I'll play h3. Why is Lucas van Forest better than you? He just has much more talent. What can I say? Yeah, Lucas is uh, my brother. He's a good player. Mm. Okay. Let's not exchange pieces because we're up on um, on immaterial. So. When you're up in material, usually you do not um, want to exchange. Okay, I wanted knight d2, but am I blundering into knight takes e5 or not? That's the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to go queen e2 then, I think, for now. And then rook d1, and then I have to say I played this rather lousy. What about Warmerdam? Is he any good? He's uh, he's good, yeah. What can I say? I'd like to trash talk me, but uh, I'm sure he will come back and trash talk me harder. So I am. Uh, I know my place. I'm. I'm not gonna say anything. So Bishop C two. I wanna. I wanna go Queen D three and uh, go for the check matings. What is the Dutch team for the next Olympiads? Um, it's not to be, um, it's not yet decided, but um, well, definitely Anish on board uh, too. Then um, we got Luke Van Veli, hopefully, if he is still there. Um, um, Erwin Lamy, probably. And then, well, we have two very strong players, Robin van Kampen and Benjamin Bok, but they're both studying. And... Um, we are never sure if they can play, especially Robin. He basically retired. Benjamin is always uh, wanting to play, but of course he has uh, other priorities as well. And then hopefully me as well. Then as I mentioned, up and coming players, definitely Max um, is, um, is really devoted to chess nowadays. And um, maybe my brother Lucas also uh, has good chances. So yeah, that's about it. Are you a great fan of your are you a fan of your great countryman Max? Oh, um hmm. I should say yes, but am I really a fan? Not really. <laughs> but I it's very good that we had a world champion um as a nation. Um and um Max, I, I, I would say I know more about Jan Timon actually. 
I, I played him and I, I really read, read his books and um, almost devoured them, if that's uh, the correct word. I, I really read them so many times, especially um, it's called my his great analytical book. Um, it was superb. And um, yeah, if I have to choose, um, I just know more about Jan Tillman. I think Max Ull was um, never um, saw too many games of his somehow. Got cycling in the background. <laughs> okay, you, know, you can always rewatch the stream. Okay, so we're up piece here, guys. And about the top three of all time, I would say that maybe even Jan Timman in the Netherlands, um, specifically, he is above Max Uwe simply because of um, his longevity as a player, definitely. And I mean, he was, um, I don't know. Max Uwe, he won the World Championship title, but other than that, I think that's a bit weird but to say, but I'm not sure he was ever really a true test professional as well. I don't know. It's hard It's hard to uh, compare the two. I don't know. And that, like I said, I don't know too much about Max Uwe. Okay, let's see who have we got. Um... Not winning at all. Okay, let's go, Mr. Not winning at all. I have to play some gambits, right, guys? I promise you guys. Have you ever had tunnel fishing playing chess? Uh, I don't know. I guess so. Do <laughs> you ever play with Arabian players? Uh, well, um, there are definitely some... Uh, good um, players um for example you got um, well from iran of course as you all know but also from um united arab emirates um it's really um they really have uh, some very strong players among them salem i i never played him in fact i think only online maybe a couple of times but uh and um another great dutch player Ivan sokolov he has been there for a long time coaching them and um coaching the players in Europe, in the UAE, and um, Chess has really come big there, according to him. At least I think. Can a short person with a short attention span become a high-level player? Well, I have a short Let's see, yeah, I have a short attention span, but am I a great player? So I don't know. You can answer that uh, for yourself, but I have a very short attention span somehow. It's also hard these days, you know, with all the distractions, um, so many distractions here and there. Um, it can be easy to uh, lose focus and um, it's not good, of course. It's definitely not good. So... We've got a typical dragon here. I gave up my bishop, but it's fine. It's 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 typical. I could even take on c3, but I don't know about that move. Let's just play first normal developing moves, bring the knight to c5. Not too much flanking. Yeah, what is this? Are my opponents playing badly or am I playing good? That there's no flagging needed. That is weird. That is very weird. Maybe it's because I'm down, I'm up on time all the time. My opponent's playing, uh, I don't know. Maybe they're distracted or something. Play stun force gambit. I don't know the stem force gambit. Dutch would be one of the coolest languages in the world. I don't know about that. Speaking about languages, I, uh, I really want to learn some languages, but... Um, Hold on, I was going to make some sentence, but then I see free material and that has uh, my priority, take material. But uh, yeah, about languages, um, it would be so cool for me, let's say, to speak some Russian or some Spanish or French or even better German, even better English. In fact, uh, my English is far from perfect. Okay, let's play Queen D4. I'm going to be super lazy about this. <laughs> but yeah, it would be very nice to speak more languages. Um, at least I, 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 I sometimes try, but um, to learn language really divide, uh, requires a lot of dedication and discipline, and I don't really have that. 
The only language you need is chess, Fijian. That is also true. Who is the chess goat? Um, I don't know. People um, have different opinions and I have no real opinion. I would like to tell you how the Netherlands weather is, but I'm not in the Netherlands, my friend. So I cannot um, answer your question. Okay, my opponent here is in dire straits. Um, Bishop Pair, he's got, but otherwise he's not got anything much going for him. I'm up the exchange and um, a whole lot of material. I'm just going to play c4, play c3 after d4, and uh, it's looking good. It is looking good. And now we take another pawn. Okay. Let's play c2. Let's play check. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oh no, that was a terrible mouse lift. <laughs> oh. oh, that was a mouse lift. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus, it's it's good that it happens to me in Ponter Blades. Oh no. <laughs> I wanted to take the rook. Um hmm. <laughs> well the good thing is usually when you um Lose some material, material. You at least get something back for it, like an open file or something. But here, I'm still struggling to find the um, compensation. Oh my god! Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna go rook b7 here. Shoot! Now I actually have to. Um... Oh god! Oh god! Maybe we have to do some flagging, but I'm afraid that this game is with increment. He's offering a draw. Come on, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna take a draw here. I'd rather lose. Yeah, the problem is there's increment here, so the flagging is gonna be. Um, it's gonna be very hard. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything to do here. I'm just down a piece. Okay, let's give it. Okay, let's improve the king. Let's give it check. Please give me pawn on g2. Thank you very much. Play g5. Now I have some mini chan little chances at least of... Um... Okay. Wait, this is um, somehow giving all the pawns. It's not um, necessary, you know, my friend. You are being very kind, but do not have to be so kind. So by now it's probably um, a draw, I guess, objectively. Bishop d8 was coming, but yeah, it's still uh, probably just a draw. Although, okay, I'm really, I'm banking on, uh, yeah, banking on him playing king d3 here, okay? That did not work. Okay, let's play for a cheeky checkmate. He's not gonna, yeah, I knew he was not gonna see it and we got him anyway. It, it was not um, the way we wanted it to go, but it's, it's it, it was a way. <laughs> it was a win is a win. Do you remember the game against me? Is it a question to me or not? Let's see what have we got in chat. How is the weather in Belgium? That's a better question. Uh, oh. It's a, it's a, it's okay, but nothing special. Do you think a crypto chess app would work? Holy, that's an interesting question. Explain me more about it, please. What do you have in? Oh no, I think I already played you, didn't I? Did I play this guy? Did I play this guy? feel like I played him, but I don't know for sure. So let's go. 
Do you know that most Norwegians speak English in casual talk? Also, I could teach you some Russian. Okay. But like I said, I, I just don't have the dedication to uh, learn languages. It's my problem. Where are you right now? Oh, that's a secret, of course. I cannot disclose my location. Okay, so my opponent is playing. Yeah, we definitely played this guy yesterday, didn't we? Okay, sorry about this, guys. I think I'm playing the same opponent two times in two days, but it was um, not intentional. We got some kind of weird dragon going for me, for us here. Let's just make it, uh, let's just make easy work of this guy take his rating and move on. I'm not 100% sure that we played him yesterday. I'm very confused. Yeah, so the dragon, but the opponent's got a pawn on g4 here, so it's, um, it's a good dragon for white. He wants queen e5 or? Uh -huh. Go play knight d5 and he's already busted here, so that's good. Which other sports are you good at? Yeah, that's my problem. I am only good at chess. Okay, shall we throw in the... <laughs> I wanted to play bishop b5 check, but it really makes little sense. But I'll do it anyway. So king f8 is going to come. And then, can I take on e7 maybe? Okay. Mm, it's a bad move, I'm sure, though. Mm. Mm. I cannot restrain myself from making this utterly stupid move. I just want to confuse him here. Ficondel or Coquette? No preference. Yes. I'm not really too strong with opinions generally, so um, don't expect very strong preferences or that kind of stuff um, in my answers. Yeah, this was just, um, by the way, in speaking about the game, this was completely unnecessary what I did here. But okay, we'll find a way to make it work. King G7, and he's like doing extremely well. Okay, I'm gonna go here. <laughs> yeah, I'm having some fun here, guys. Bishop d7, the guy's gonna be like, what is going on? I don't get it. And that's the point. Saw this move, had to make it. Now I'm definitely playing for plan A, which is the flag. I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. We are trying to flag our opponent here. Okay, queen e5 he's got. Then we got a equalish endgame, I think. Yeah, but we're definitely not better here, but um, we are better on the clock, and that's all that matters, right? Yeah, so let's play c4. Let's play rook d5, because why the heck not? Why are you offering a draw, guys? Come on, what is I? Can you guys not like not offer a draw? I do not like draw offers too much, unless it's a total draw, of course. Then you're completely within your rights. But here you are winning, so why would you offer me the draw? You should try and beat me. Okay, I'm, I'm barking. Okay, so the guy offers a draw and then he blunders a rook. That's not a very strong uh, follow-up. And he, then he plays on, even more weird. <laughs> this It was an interesting game, though, but uh, that was an unfortunate blunder of the rook there by him. Okay. Yes, you are nicely playing on, my friend, but you are not going to save it. Ah, yes, I will accept um, your challenge. Wait, let me find you and um, I'll accept. 
Okay, good luck to you. <laughs> Go pick up girls. Don't waste your time at playing chess. <laughs> but I already have a girlfriend. <laughs> Gold draw. <laughs> yes. Okay, offering a draw one time is not um, a real problem, but... Uh, Offering it twice without your opponent um, offering it. To, wait, this is some, some kind of theory suddenly. What is this? I'm suddenly very scared here. Yeah, so offering draw one time is okay, but then offering it two times in a row without your opponent offering it once in between um, is not really accepted, let's say. Okay, knight f5, I thought was uh, maybe some, it's some scary stuff. So uh, let's see um, what's going to happen here. I even think it's some kind of theory line. Okay, knight c3. Um, hmm. Maybe bishop g4, I don't know. Bishop e2, do I have knight e5 is my question. I think I do. <laughs> Compliments for prestigious win. Thank you very much. Two, two better than one, dude. <laughs> okay, guys. Do keep the questions a bit civilized, yeah? <laughs> we are here purely for chess talk and nothing else. This is a chess website. Only one draw offer. Yes. Okay, see you, Dutch defender. Oh, wait. Sorry, I was reading chat a bit, guys. So I was a bit distracted there. Okay, let's back up with the bishop here. Quite an interesting position. My opponent is playing very original chess. Um, maybe she's got experience in this 1b3 um, stuff. Do also, um, I know, I think we have got some Indian people in the house here. So um, you must know that Adiban is making a course for chessable on 1b3. Um, I, I bet it's gonna be good, and uh, knowing Alibun, it's also gonna be very original. So, um, do check it out, I guess. Making some advertisement for my big man for my big friend Alibun. So, how do we continue here? It's not an easy. Maybe a5 was the stupid by me. Mm. Mm. Yes, guys, I am not too happy about the state of affairs we are in at right now. Isn't it coming soon, this course by him? I'm reading all chats, Mr. Nilavo. What do you think? Ah, you played against me. 1h4, 2 knight, a3. Oh, brother, it's all in the middle of the night. <laughs> that probably also explains why I don't remember our game. <laughs> yes, Nepu is um, liking, uh, he likes to play 1b3 himself. Okay, I'm in trouble here this game. What is going on, guys? I'm just getting outplayed here. Okay, why am I acting surprised? I know what it's like to get outplayed. I get outplayed all the time. Still, it's annoying every time. Just worse here. Much worse, in fact. How did this happen? I'm just losing here. I'm just losing here, am I not? Okay, I have to sink here. Shut up and think.
okay, what does it matter? I'm losing anyway. Thinking is not gonna make the problem go away. Ninety eight is such a disgusting move. Also, I thought I was attacking the knight here, but I am not. So bishop takes or knight takes g seven. I just missed the knight. Good uh, was protected there. So anyway. I'm just getting completely smoked this game. H4 or? You are not rated 1500, miss. You're very strong. You scared me, Lou. I scared you. I don't mean to be scary. Or do I? Shout out, please. Huge shout out to Rishi Kinger. The anticipation and promotion for the Adibank course is going on for many months now. Yes. I've been so excited for such a long time, but I don't know what to play because expecting this course to be out and get a new repertoire, but it's not coming out. Do you believe that an old man can become a good chess player? Um, I think at any age you are, you can improve, right? But um, the older you are, um, the less um, you can improve, I guess. I mean, that's uh, not uh, nothing surprising there, I hope, for you. What is I'm playing like? Oh, Please do not look at the game, guys. This is so... What is Bishop F5? This is... <laughs> I want to resign this game. That's how bad it is. I should just resign here, in fact. Uh, I thought I was playing 1500, but... I'm playing some kind of... Uh... <laughs> should we're not going to lose this game. Guys, we are not... <laughs> Ah, uh, holy smokes. I have to focus now for two minutes and then I'll be back to you guys. In fact, it's too late to focus, isn't it? It's way too late to focus. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. I should resign here and be, um, yeah. Yeah. Wow, good game there. What can I say? Natasha Rostova. I got completely crushed here. So really nice game. What can I say? Uh, that hurts. I wanted to go dirty flag mode, but there was no chance. And now we're below 20 a three thousand again back to the grind um let's play hana 1810 from ireland you just lost to stockfish i don't think so ah, i didn't notice anything suspicious about the game but anyway it was a tough game. That's how it goes, guys. You cannot win them all. Poor me, yes. What is up with the bishop d3 against the um, against the dragon? It's the second time. But don't worry, guys. I I I I really I'm not too. Um, I, I usually deal very easily, or not very, easy, but I deal quite well with um, defeats. It's not um, gonna bother. I mean, especially in the Bonder Blitz game. But I mean, in general, I, I I'm fine with not fine, but I deal with it quite easily with normal defeats. Yeah, I just got schooled by the Russian school of chess in the 
the previous game. Ah, it was Judith Bower I was playing. Yeah, okay. That explains. <laughs> Judith is tricky. Yeah, Judith is um, would crush me, probably. If you are from Holland, why do you put the flag of the Netherlands? So this kind of question, I do not understand. So if you are from Netherlands, why do you put the flag of the Netherlands? Some questions, holy smokes. It was Daniel Duboff. Yeah, it was certainly a strong uh, player. I was trying to go for the flag in the previous game, but the position was too bad. And I missed everything. Even, even I, I mean, I could have even played, I could have played better there, despite even if I were certain to lose that game, I could have played a bit better. I missed everything. Okay, so let's go e5 and play d5. Yeah, okay, it's fine. It's good. W, what is holy smokes? That's just an expression I use sometimes. Do you like Red Bull? Um, I don't know. Not not a huge fan. A bit too much sugar, in my opinion, or not really healthy. I've never tried Red Bull Zero, but uh, anyway. <laughs> Look, position looking much better here. Suddenly uh, facing uh, less strong opposition. Got very comfortable position here. It, hitting, I want to say hitting both e three bishop and b four pawn. And opponent doesn't do about do, do anything about both of them. So um, bishop d two was to be recommended, um, and now she loses a bishop, unfortunately. So that's a pity. Have you driven a van into forest? <laughs> mm, very original joke there, sir. I guess we have once been in a van to a forest with the family. Can I beat Magnus? I guess I can, but um, it's very, very hard. So um, it's much better than me for now and probably for the time to come. Actually, I am drunk on banana beer. Well, I've never drunk banana beer myself. Do you recommend it? It does sound nice, banana beer. I only know apple beer. Um, rook up here, looking good, taking another pawn. So by my, um, after doing some complicated algebra or calculus, I came to the conclusion I'm not only up a rook, but also two pawns. So really looking uh, promising here. And now even taking a third one. Banana beer, maybe liquor. Very tasty. Okay. Do you know a gap matter? Yes. <laughs> Some questions, guys. <laughs> Did you ever climb Mount Everest? <laughs> no, I did not climb Mount Everest just yet. You sure know how to ask funny questions. My father is rated 600. How should I train him to become a grandmaster? <laughs> um, okay, what you should do to make your father a grandmaster is um, you should just make sure he doesn't sleep for the next 10 years and just make him work on chess 24-7. And if he does survive that, maybe he has a chance. But um, if he's only rated 600 and he's your father... So he's probably a bit, um, he's not that young anymore. It's going to be very hard. So really 24-7 work on chess is what I recommend.
Okay, I want to go bishop e5 here. In fact, I'm going to pre-move it because that's what everyone likes, all the cool pre-moves. That looks really impressive. Okay, it was a pity knight g3 didn't come. Okay, back to the 3000 rating gain grind. Um, let's see what have we got here. Bogdan. Oh, wait, I saw a high one. Three plus two. Okay, let's do this. Let's take up the challenge here. Let's play g3. I play every opening. Some questions, holy cow. What are you guys on? Mushrooms? No, no. I do like it, of course. So um, please keep coming with the questions, but uh, they are not my regular kind of questions. Okay, C3. We're playing a strong guy here, so. I do like Geo Gainster a bit. Ever gone to the moon? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm in secret working for SpaceX. I'm I'm the guy who's gonna bring Dogecoin to the moon. If you ask interesting questions, you get interesting answers. Yes, at some point, I also do want to go to Jupiter. I'm just answering some questions um, because uh, why not when the opponent is sinking, right? But okay, let's talk a bit about chess here. I kind of misplayed it a bit, I think, but it's not a big deal. B6 is kind of putting me off a bit. Rook b8 is a tad soft, I would say, but it's possible. How to um, continue? Is h4 good, guys? What do you think? I'm not sure. I'm going to go h5 as well. Typical alpha zero style, push the pawn down the board. And if I get a chance, push it all the way to h6 and then um, hope for good things to come. Bishop takes a2. I'm not too worried. I think I always have b3. But maybe it's not a bad decision to take the pawn. Okay, it simply goes bishop d5. Understandable. I'll go here. Um, and play bishop to f4. Yeah, so this pawn on h6, it's either weakness or strength, and it's um, we're going to see what exactly it is in the next moves. It's not so easy for my opponent to move here, though. I would say it's not so easy to um, come up with a good plan, so see what he's going to come up with. Maybe I want to play a3. Okay, knight f5. I'm going to play for some cheap tricks, as usual. Threatening rook takes d5, or... Maybe even at some point, if he moves the bishop from d5, want to take on f5. Mm. Maybe not stuff. Maybe, yeah, the game I lost, it was um, not a genuine player. I do not know, in fact. It felt to me like a normal game. Should I play the boom cloud one game? But I haven't studied the chessable course yet, so not not well enough at least. I, I should still um, work on the move trainer there and stuff. Okay, so he gives up the bishop, which is um, interesting, but I like it because I get uh, the bishop pair right now. Oh, and... Don't mind uh, the time, guys, because we're playing an increment game here. So, uh, once again, no flagging involved. What is this? 
Knight probably back to f5 is going to happen, and then I have. Um, I will see what to do. Yeah, knight f5. Maybe queen d3. Queen e7. Maybe just rook c1. G4 is an idea at some point in the near future. Also, bishop g5 is um, something I'm I'm going to be uh, on the lookout for. And even bishop h3, now that I see it's a possibility. Yeah, I like... Okay, I'm going to play a3 first. Stop knight b4 business. Um, and my opponent is simply running low on time here, so... Okay, a4 is just a nothing move. We're going to hit him with bishop h3. Ending up the pressure here. Yeah, this I just do not really understand. Because didn't I just win a piece? Yeah. Okay, back above 3,000. That was um, very much needed. Because, of course, we were a bit in a downward spiral after that loss. It was not... Uh, we were not intending to lose that game. And now we can go back to uh, chill mode and play some a little bit weaker opponents. Mr. SC Sieges, Tat Wong from Australia. Okay. Okay, let's play. What shall we play this game? Let's play the Sicilian defense. And go for the... Um, shall we play classical Sicilian? Let's play classical Sicilian. Opponent goes bishop e2, I'll play e5. Bishop e2, not the most um, aggressive for uh, testing way against the classical, but of course it's a way. Um, Bishop e2 against basically any Sicilian is very decent um, for white and leads to complex um, positions. Okay, I'll play Bishop e6, typical development. And as usual in these positions, I want to, um, or black wants to play for d5. So if I get a chance, I will play d5 and um, free my pieces. Okay, so bishop e3 allowing, but okay, I'll play rook c8 for now. I'm not uh, yet committing to d5. Um. Go with London next. I already played the London, so I will see. But um, not too much London should be played, of course. We have to um, keep it diverse, play as many openings as possible. So, uh, you know, we see all kind of different structures and we learn as much as we can. Okay, I wanted to play knight before, but maybe bishop takes a seven. Oh, wait, I have rook c2. What am I saying? So knight before, I think it's possible. Let's play knight before. Uh, yes, I do play the Karo Khan from time to time. So definitely a decent opening there. Yeah, night before here, throwing my opponent definitely off um, because c2 is under huge pressure and um, especially rook takes c2 is a threat here. Not easy to uh, deal with it. Maybe maybe rook a c1 or something. Okay, this is possible, but at least gives me the chance for the bishop pair, but I want more. Rook f d8. Hmm. Rook f8 bishop f5. I have to calculate. I do not like calculation. Hmm. 
It's very hard. Okay, what the heck? I'm gonna go to D8. Uh, oh wow, that's an instant response. So let's see how my calculation is um, doing. Takes, okay, that was not what I was expecting. I thought, um, I thought bishop takes c8 was more more uh, testing and then uh, there were many lines to be calculated and I certainly didn't calculate them all so got away with a bit of uh, luck there now I'm up uh, a pawn and more and also I have the bishop pair so life looking uh, very promising also knight on b3 is attacked and doesn't have a clear move okay here I can take a pawn, but I'll play bishop e6 first, solidify the position. Um, yeah, rook b1. I will reply bishop a2 for now. Um, okay, wait. This I should be careful. Yeah, okay, I'll take on b2. Okay, bishop b4, I think it's... Um, Good. Yeah, I think I can take on d2 now. And um, point is, I take with check. Yeah, I'm not gonna think and just exchange rooks here because with the piece up, the line, the position is um, is excellent. Yeah, but the position was anyway lost. So even if not Ruby one, it was um, was looking quite bad. Okay, let's see what else have we got. Um, let's play a person from Romania. Let's play one e four. My favorite opening. Let's play bishop d3 here, keep it a bit off beat. And um, I used to play this line as a kid with bishop d3, so why not? <laughs> and bishop e3, I believe, is the point here. Just, and the idea of the line is that the bishops of white are very strong. Um, I would say it's, um, it's a dubious opening idea to say the least because the bishops can also be vulnerable but if white gets all his moves in it can definitely um, be an asset those bishops so black has to um, respond well I think he's responding fine in fact he's doing uh, normal moves knight c6 now is looking very healthy and probably have to part with one of my bishops then okay knight d7 is a little passive I'll develop, develop to um C3, maybe knight e2. Mm, the fact it's anyway um, equalish. How is knight b5? Mm. Yeah, I'm playing knight e2. Just develop easily, smoothly, and um, we get a normal end game. Yeah, my sister, she's about 2150, so she's doing quite well. Oh, somebody recommended this line before? No, I do not follow their course, like I said. Um, this is simply a line I've been playing for, um, well, since my childhood, and um, no. It was, in fact, my first coach who told me about this idea. I would say... It's a bit of a lazy line, but um, it can it can put some pressure if Black doesn't know what he's doing precisely. So knight g3 had to be played to prevent um, Black from playing e4. And otherwise I would have lost the bishop. And now we castle queenside. We play the rook to e1, hopefully. And this pawn on e5, it's a bit of a um, weakness there. Okay, b4 maybe, simply. B4 looks tempting, forcing knight to a6, I think. And then I'll play... It's still not much, though, after knight a6. 
Knight a4 is surprising to me. Thought I had rook takes d7, although doubting a bit if it's that good now that we have the position on the board. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I have to calculate here because knight takes c3 is um well black should play here of course and then e4 is coming so it's um as well as knight takes a2 idea so it's really not clear in fact this position Tactics and strategy, which is important, both, all of them. Okay, let's take on F7. Let's see. Okay, no real interesting questions as far as I can see, so we'll keep it real and um, talk about the game here. I'll take on b7. I think my opponent taking on a2 was not um, not best uh, for him because now he's down a pawn and um, losing another one now. Instead, he should have played for e4, played for activity there. And now down a pawn, the position is looking uh, grim. In fact, it's just lost. And uh, taking into account the time situation, the game is... Um, not gonna last long, I am afraid. Yeah, and there we go. It's another win back. So um, I think it was a nice game, but my opponent should have played e4 and we would have gotten a um, very, very um, interesting game. Okay, let's play like maybe two more games and then call it a day. We uh, have to go back to chess studying after this, of course. So let's play Mrs. Oh, wait, he's not online. That would be a pity from my opponent. Are you, uh, are you online or not? Well, let's give him five. Yeah, okay, he's here. Let's play a Scandinavian because why not? And give, um, okay, let's play the Queen D6 line. This is a um, favorite of my old coach, Tiviakov. He really has a lot of experience in this line. Myself, I do not have any experience. So um, I hope not to make it too embarrassing this game. Um, let's play bishop to g7. And castle. Looks like a solid position to me for black. Um, but uh, White is um, doing fine to himself, of course. Should I play knight b6 or not? I guess I will, because then I can always develop my bishop to um, f5 or e6. Well, a4, that's a bit weird, because he just played a3, right? So why would you first play a3 and then... Was it a mouse slip by him, maybe? Favorite non-chess books? Mm. Currently, I'm reading Dostoevsky, trying to uh, expand my knowledge a bit. Oh, whoops, it's our turn already. So I was thinking of taking on H3 or some tactics, but I cannot make them work I'm gonna play bishop f5 maybe it's not so good but um, I think there's something to be said for it white is anyway very solid so we might as well try and uh, well spice it up a little bit at least I want to go root g8 and then um, well, I think my intentions are quite wait I just missed I, I didn't expect queen d2 I just went um Rook g8 on autopilot and um, 
missed F4 or yeah, just even didn't think about possibility uh, about that possibility. So I I uh, missed the full weight of the piece there, which is a pity. Now I'm being driven back, um, which is uh, not great, but okay. The position um, is still quite solid for me as well. Which opening you played a lot? I like play one e4 with white and with black. I really vary a lot between my openings, so I cannot say um, I have one go-to opening. I'm actually not sure what's my next open a, a tournament, so I hope to play something soon, of course. But um, wow, rook takes e4. This guy, I like you. Next chain sacrifice, cool. Showing um, definitely some creativity there, at least. Not sure how good it is objectively, but I, I think what it's doing fine here, in fact. Doubling on the G file here, maybe not, not great. Okay, should I, can I take on G3? Mm, nah. Yeah. Yeah, now it's hard to play for me. That was um, quite the sacrifice. Trying to make rook takes g3 work. Like I calculate rook takes, f takes, rook takes, king h1, and then queen f2, but there are too many. Uh, like knight takes f7 is simply uh, winning for white. So, oh wait, why do I have this little time? What is going on? I'm talking too much. Talking way too much. What are the best chess pickup lines? I, I am sorry to disappoint you, my friends. I do not know any pickup lines in chess. But I'm sure Google knows some. I really have never uh, studied chess pickup lines. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Okay, C5. Now I'm freeing myself here a bit. I think my opponent shouldn't have, he should have played f4 or something along the lines of that. Even now it's not so clear. Okay, this is definitely, now it's good for me. Because without the rooks, um, he, the knight is not so good. He, he, there needs to be a rook on the board for white. And now my rook is just going to eat up all his pawns. And um, the rook is far superior here than the knight. Okay, let's play rook b4, attack a4 as well. King e7 is on the on the on the cards. Yeah, c5. Okay, I'll just go here. Play f6 maybe. Play b6. Yeah, and we win on time. Finally, we win on time, but um, position was also winning. Okay, let's play one last game. And let's make it good. I want to play a strong guy to end, but um, let's see. Okay, let's play Mr. HC2H. Let's do this. I think flying is winner's mentality. I mean, if you go for the flag, it means you want to win at all costs, right? And that you, um, I don't know. <laughs> I think most chess-related pickup lines have all been refuted. Maybe that's why I don't know any of them. Okay, Peach, Peach defense here, let's go. Let's... Um, Let's play with knight g2. Haven't played this line in like uh, 10 years, probably. <laughs> so uh, why not? And play bishop g2. This is definitely not my go-to line. But it's solid for white. But it's also very solid for black. Mm, 
playing a4 to stop b5 happening by black. Playing h3 now, typical uh, useful move h3, and now maybe bishop to e3 or something. Queen to d2. Uh, should I play f4? Let's go, why not? If ed, I'll take with the knight. If ef, I'll take gf, maybe. Maybe he can just um, keep the tension. Let's see what he uh, decides. Beach defense. I do not know what is the beach defense. Wait, King Lucas suddenly in the chat for the last game. <laughs> you think marriage and fatherhood will affect your chess and rating? Um, poof. I think it, first of all, it uh, depends per case. So you have people who think they are good, but really they're not very good. And then they get married and get kids and they um, think uh, that it affects their chess strength. But in fact, they were never really good to begin with. And then you have people who uh, who are good. They marry and have kids, and they remain good. So um, I think it really depends. Okay, so nice position here, but um, not easy to break through, of course. Um, A six is, I don't know. Let's play king, king h. I don't. I. I struggle to find a good move here. I'll play g4. Struggling to find a good move. Sometimes you just have to make a move. Yes, 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 it does look. You you got uh, you got the point. It is good to have you in the chat, I have to say. It's a pity you only come for the last game. We could have some nice trash talk, show what kind of enemies we are, but um, we have to do that another time, I'm afraid. Okay. So my opponent sacks the, uh, sacrifices the bishop. It's not entirely stupid, I have to say. He gets quite some... Uh, Play. I play a6 here, which is not so good, but uh, I don't know why I played a6 in all honesty. Should have played some uh, knight d2 solidifying move or something. But I think I'm still, there's no way for him to win back any material here just yet, so I think it's fine. You are trying to distract him. To distract me? <laughs> I'm not that easily distracted. You have to try better. I have um, a lot of experience by now interacting with chat. So um, chat is keeping me sharp in a way, you know, they uh, and learning me how to multitask or something. Okay, I'll play f5. Let's go for the attack here. I'm wanting to play f6 and shut his bishop. I think I can play f6 here. But what do I do after bishop h8? I didn't see bishop h8, in fact, as a possibility, but now it's um, it's all good. And um, we're going to end this game soon enough. Luke tried to distract, but um, his, 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 um, he didn't try enough. Which is a pity. Okay. Not the cleanest way to uh, finish it, but uh, it's a way. Okay, knight c3 coming. But up a piece here. I uh, Now I'm going to round up some pawns. Yeah, this guy, he has some speed going for him. But the uh, problem is when you have a lot of speed, but you have a very little position. It's uh, okay. And I think... We end it right here, guys. Um, we did a nice two-hour bouncer blitz here. I hope you um, 
I'll enjoy it. I'm going to do uh, more in the future as well, I'm sh- I'm sure. And um, see you back there, I hope. And um, have a good day as well.